now let us discuss about controlled access protocols we have three controlled access protocols such as reservation polling and token passing now let us discuss about uh, polling uh, here in this concept in this protocol one device will be selected as primary device and other devices are selected as secondary devices so here we will have only one primary device and we will have multiple secondary devices here primary device is the initiator that means here the primary device controls everything secondary device simply follows the instructions of the primary device here it is the responsibility of the primary device to decide to decide which secondary device has to use the channel so here also we will have some shared medium so in order to access that medium so that decision should be taken by the primary device so primary device will decides which secondary device will uses the corresponding channel okay here the primary here uh, the primary device mainly uses two functions the first function is select function the second function is poll function so now let us see about uh, select function uh, before sending the data primary device sends a select function to the secondary device so in order to decide whether it is free or not in order to know the availability of the secondary device so here this is the primary device and we have two secondary devices such as a and b so here the primary device is sending a select function to the second this the secondary device a so in order to know whether a is free or not okay so this sel this sel frame contains address of the a address of a now let us assume that a is free so now a will sends acknowledgement frame to the primary device so after receiving the acknowledgement frame the primary device can decides that secondary device is free now a is free now so now primary device can sends the data to the a and uh, secondary that uh, a will provides acknowledgement for the corresponding data so this is about select function so here this sel contains the destination address okay a address b address likewise now let us see about the poll function here the select function and the poll function these functions are used by primary device only okay here primary device uh, if the primary device is ready to receive the data from the secondary device then it ask it it sends a poll request to the secondary device so here what is the use of poll if the primary device is ready to receive data from the secondary device then it send a poll request to, to the secondary device so it is sending the request to the first to secondary device now let us assume that this a doesn't have any data to send so that's why it is providing n a c k acknowledgement negative acknowledgement so that means this a has doesn't uh, this a doesn't have any data to send okay so that's why now the primary device is sending poll request to the b secondary device b now he assumes that b has some data to send okay so it will sends the data to the primary device okay so here what is the use of the poll if the primary device is ready to receive the data from the secondary device okay so after receiving this request this b came to know that uh, that the primary device is expecting some data so it is sending the data and after receiving the data primary device provides the acknowledgement to the secondary device 
so this is about polling control access protocol so here control access protocol means out of all the devices so which device can sense the frame so that should be controlled with the help of the control access protocol here we have multiple devices like a b likewise we can use some other devices also c d e out of all the devices which device can send the data so that should be decided based upon the control access protocol